Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. I'm doing another vlog style type video today. We're going to be doing a lot of things. I need to do some makeup chores that includes like putting away a ton of makeup, that includes washing my brushes. I also want to do a shop my stash. If you guys saw my most recent video, I bought a lot of new makeup, which I'm so excited to get, but I want to try a few things out and kind of do a little shop my stash before that stuff comes. I have a feeling some spring cleaning is on the way, um, you know, coming up in a couple months. So I just want to get some thoughts on products, give some love to things maybe I haven't. I feel like since moving into my new place, getting a routine when it comes to my makeup, having my my like just where my stuff goes I'm still figuring all that out which I'm going to be showing you today so it's kind of like a Sunday kind of motivational vlog type thing plus a shot my stash so I will get into like deeper thoughts probably toward the end of this because there's another kind of reason I'm making sure I post this video but yeah I want to give you a tour of this place first and it's let me tell you right now it's going to be real okay um I put a little bit of makeup on I'm pretty like fresh face if you will like I don't have any eyeshadow on who am I but I want to show you my filming room and I want to get it cleaned up I still have boxes for moving I have makeup everywhere like it is not pretty and perfect and this is like a tiny bit of the end kind of more serious note of this but I refuse to make sure everything's perfect before I film just to fake something like I just won't do it and um, but I also don't want to make that stop me from filming too where it's like well then I just won't film it so I want to show you where I'm at um, with my filming room some things I think it'll be fun I hope you enjoy the video anyway let me give you a little tour all right so this is when you come into the room and uh, this is the big room in the house. And um, yeah, it's <laughs> my filming studio. Literally makeup everywhere, tons of packages. That's moving stuff, my cute red chair. Then this is where I film, which you guys saw a little bit of that in my last video, but you haven't seen the wallpaper yet. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've been wanting to put this wallpaper up for forever, but when we moved in, this was gray. It was gray in this house, um, in this room. So it's been painted white and you have to give it time to cure all the way before you put the wallpaper on so it doesn't peel it off. Well, it's a whole story. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm hoping <laughs> that this will look good when I film. I'm still not sure if that's the case. It's so pretty. I love the wallpaper. I think I want to get quite a few more paintings. I definitely need to get some like contrasting stuff. I've been looking on Pinterest for different like inspiration because I just feel like potentially the print and the size of it might be a lot if a lot of it's showing in my video. So I'm working with all that. I have a lot of like different paintings to put up in here as well. Just different artwork on the walls. I want to have a couple different spaces that I potentially could film. Like if I'm just doing a sit down video talking, I can maybe film that in a different area than my other one. I don't know. I have like all all these ideas but I do have some footage of Sam and I putting this up so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna include that this yesterday and it went overall pretty well I mean I'm like of course immediately exposing myself but it like goes over a little bit on the top and then also <laughs> on the edge there seriously the panels are like a hundred dollars a piece for the stupid wallpaper and I wasn't gonna buy a whole panel for like an inch that didn't fit it wasn't happening okay I'm planning on doing like some type of greenery like maybe a really tall cactus or maybe like I don't know some fiddle leaf fig <laughs> be basic but yeah so yeah that's the fun wall like I'm so into it I'm really excited I, I just hope that it's not too overwhelming in my videos but it's so me I love it when we move around we have hi guys hello <laughs> so this is the bathroom I know, I didn't clean it up, I wanted to show you. This is my life, this is what I do. So I need to get all this put away today. I also need to stock my shelf, so I usually do hair stuff on the top and then like skincare and I just need to like stock up on my skincare or like switch things out. I've ran out of stuff, like really make sure I have a whole face there. And then I do have a bathroom in here. 
It's so cute. Look how cute. Oh, and I have dirty clothes in there. <laughs> so, you know, it's just like a whole day of me cleaning and getting this stuff ready. And then, of course, I'll do that shop, my stash, ooh, which I'll show you that area as well. Okay, so the closet is its own thing. So I have my closet in here, all my clothes. This is just all my stuff. And then... I have <laughs> this kind of insane situation going on. I have the Ikea drawers for my storage. I've had these for, I don't even know, probably 10 years at this point. <laughs> it's been a very long time. I had them before I moved to California. So I keep my makeup in the black drawers, but I've recently put them on this uh, table, which this is a very delicate situation, I guess we could say, because... Um, they don't really fit. I'm thinking about like updating my storage situation because I've had these so long and I really hate these as design pieces in my actual house. So I think it might be time to move on from them on top of the fact that, listen to this. Do you hear that? Oh my gosh. So anyway, I need to put all my makeup back in these drawers. We moved them like this yesterday, but I do like how tall they are. So when I'm, you know, looking for stuff, I don't have to be like, on my knees on the floor. All right, so I'm gonna start, oh, I think, you, can you see my butt? No, maybe, <laughs> I don't know, okay. The mirrors, man. Okay, I'm gonna start in this corner um, and I think I'm gonna just put all the makeup in like a bin so that I can then organize that later. I wanna get it cleaned off, just make this nice clean down the cabinets, just like feeling good. I'm also gonna do these shelves, like I said, so I'll have you zoomed in on that, but here we go. All right, so I don't know how much of the footage even looks good or whatever, but I have finished with that. It looks so much better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now I'm gonna work on this blue thing that I have, which has a lot of like new makeup. So I'll show you that as I actually go through it. I wanna get this like just more organized and I also wanna clean it up so that by the time I go and I'm putting everything in my drawers, I have all my new makeup to put away. And uh, I'll show you some of the stuff that I have as I do that. All right, I'm in my little corner. I've gotten it mostly cleaned up. I have this plan of like keeping things on the shelf when they come in so I can make sure if I want to talk about, it. I don't know. It's kind of like this purgatory deciding time. But since I'm putting everything away right now, I think it'd be nice to get some of this older stuff also put away. So I'm gonna show it and just let me know if you wanna see more stuff on it or whatnot. So I have my Ipsies. I need to do a double unboxing because I have like two. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my March bag to come in that I pay for. I also was sent some hair care stuff from Pros, which I'm testing out currently. I just found some of the pumps in here. So I'm so glad I didn't throw this away because I've been using the hair stuff without the pumps and they would be really helpful. So um, I'll give you guys some updates on this once I, I've tried it a little bit more. Also recently picked up this Glossier bag. I had some credit. So they just came out with this really cute Glossier uh, kind of travel skincare type bag. It's pretty large, but I honestly thought it was gonna be maybe like a little bit bigger. The thing that kind of sold me, I do like the look of it and I was ready to kind of upgrade on a nice bag because this is the thing. I feel like so many makeup bags come into my life, but I want something that's functional and I'm fine with just, I just want one that works and is functional. Um, and I think this will be good for skincare specifically and like those types of things. Maybe a small amount of makeup, but this is what it looks like inside. It has like felt uh, dividers in here. And the whole point is that you can have your skincare kind of sit up in the bag. And I really liked the idea of that. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's a little bit stiffer than I thought. I don't know. It's a little bit different than I thought, but we'll see. I haven't obviously used it yet. I've not <laughs> gone anywhere, but I'm hoping to get rid of a lot of like the dinky little bags that come through, things that aren't like actually functional to me. So um, yeah, I have this Glossier one and it came with like a duster bag. I thought that was kind of interesting. Okay. So the weirdest PR I've ever been sent. This is from Patrick Stars One Size Line. This got sent to my like old, old address. <laughs> 
I'm like, how'd you even get this? It's kind of creepy, honestly. These are the Secure the Blur Hydrating Under Eye Patches. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those, but more than anything, I'm just like, how? How did my old, old address, how? How does it work? I picked up a beauty blender. This is something I bought from Ipsy. They were doing, uh, they do like sales similar to how uh, BoxyCharm does. So this was pretty deeply discounted. And so I picked up a beauty blender cleanser cause I had run out of the liquid. derma -E sent like a million products, which I'm actually excited for. I need to stock up on my skincare shelf in my bathroom. So I'm probably gonna put in a couple of these things, but I'm gonna just like run through them really fast. I have this derma -E Radiance Glycolic Acid uh, toner that I am excited to try. This is a keratin thickening spray. I think this is for your hair actually. I would love to have thick hair. I have like four hairs on my head, so <laughs> I might I might try that out. It's in like a glass bottle. It's like nice and heavy. They sent over this like rock thing. I think this is uh, rose quartz. That's what it looks like to me. And so I think you can like, I don't know, you smooth and plump or whatever. I am gonna try this out. I actually really like this type of stuff, mostly for like the cold. It feels really nice. And I do think that it's like depuffing and stuff. And I'm really trying once I like organize this room and just feel like I can breathe for a second in here. I really would like to have a pretty nice skincare routine that I'm sticking to. I was doing such a good job at that. And then, you know, if your life gets kind of messed up, for me, one of the first things to go is skincare. Like, pff, who cares, you know? Even though it sucks because it's like one of those self-care things that actually makes me feel good later on. So by stopping doing it, it feels like, yay, I'm not like doing that chore. But then I end up like not liking how my skin feels, which makes me feel even worse and all that. So it's like not a good thing to skip. Anyway, another thing was this purifying gel cleanser. This is the charcoal and marine algae. Oh, there was another thing that one size sent me. This is the makeup magnet priming base, primer base. It's like a primer, I guess. I have a two-in-one charcoal mask. Okay, this is like all over the place. I found another one size thing. I think this is the liner, the liquid liner that's like better than uh, Hair Beauties. More derma -y stuff, another charcoal thing. This is a scrub. I have a Bond hair repair oil. I mean, some of this stuff I'm probably gonna end up just like donating or giving away if it's unopened. So yeah, I have a beauty sponge from Derma E. Didn't even know they did that. This is a scalp relief treatment with tea tree oil. I got some Kosa stuff. I'm excited for that. That'll probably be in my Shop My Stash, so stay tuned. Some Ofra products because I did a video with them. Derma E sent me two of these uh, kind of, I don't know, they're silicone tipped mask putter honors. Wow, because that's a word. But anyway, I'm gonna keep one of these, but I'll give one. I had some stuff from Pacifica. This is the Length and Strength Mineral Mascara. Another mascara from Rimmel. A Derma E Microabrasion Scrub. That one I wanna try. I have a little packet of Good Jeans. I really wanna try that out. And I think the last thing I wanted to talk about was the stuff from Wet n Wild. They have like some different brow products and stuff. I definitely wanna try some of these out in my color and then I'll probably pass on some of the other stuff. So yeah, that's just like a quick little uh, update of what I have. I don't know. Now I feel like I can like move on with my life about it for some reason. And I I think I'm gonna start putting everything into the drawers now because I feel like this video is gonna be long, but maybe it's just because I'm doing this all in real time and you guys see it all sped up. <laughs> but I wanna put my makeup away so we can get to the shop my stash. I'm excited to pick a few items to have so that I can use them, enjoy them, be a little bit more pinpointed with the makeup that I'm trying because sometimes too many options, it's just like option overload and I can't stand it. So I'm gonna do that next. And I'm, cause I still have so much to do that you guys won't see like I'm gonna wash all my brushes and I haven't even touched like any of the other stuff with this room but um I mean I think you guys are mostly here for the makeup so all right we're here with all of the makeup I fit it all in here <laughs> I am going to uh start putting it away I don't know how much of my body is gonna like cover the footage as I put this away so if you don't see much of it it's probably because it was me going <laughs> all the time. But I have to put in my drawers before. And then once everything's in there, when I shop my stash, I will go over everything and like how my drawers are organized a little bit. So yeah, I need to get to it because oh my gosh, this video is so long for me. <laughs>
makeup away. I'm feeling great. So we're gonna shop my stash finally. Oh my gosh, all the makeup in one place. It just feels good. I'm gonna use this little basket and shop through kind of the things I'm thinking about as I shop. <laughs> wow, I'm really, <laughs> I'm going in. I mean, I'm into the fresh face stuff. So I'd love to get some cream blushes that I already own. Revisit maybe some of that high-end stuff that I, you know, tried out around Black Friday. I wanna keep it pretty minimal though. Like I really, I don't know. I want like one to three highlights options not like seven you know <laughs> that might still feel like a lot to people but for me that feels pretty good um because I know as soon as that Sephora stuff comes in I'm gonna be super excited to play around with it and I'm probably not gonna wait so I don't want it to become a big old cluster f over on my counter once again because I bring half my makeup collection over there to try out which isn't possible I also want to give an overview of the drawers really fast so in here I have like primers and I have oh like mists and stuff I have foundations concealers powders in here this is like bronzers and face palettes that have like multiple different products in it this has uh, all my blushes in it this is my pride and joy all my highlighters this is kind of like single eye products so like single shadows I have some uh, biodegradable glitter I have some cream shadow type things and and then smaller eyeshadow like palettes and stuff and then I have some loose pigments in here's like liners brow products like eye primers mascaras that type of stuff lip stuff and then I even have a second drawer of lip stuff do you you guys it's a creaky haunted house story up in here. I have like a thing I have my eye on of getting new storage because one of the things I really want with new storage is something that is not an eyesore. So like I could incorporate it into a room. And I also, of course, like with everything that I buy, I try to think of like long-term use. So like, let's say I don't want to store my makeup collection in it anymore. How does this function as other storage? How would I use it otherwise? Like I really want it to be a long-term piece so yeah I have one that I've been seeing it's on Urban Outfitters I'll, sh I'll show you a picture here I'm thinking about getting that but if you guys have other options um, let me know let me know anyway I do have another lip thing um, and then this is like empty weird stuff this is lashes you guys the girl who doesn't wear lashes, I know. It's because of my makeup kit, and I just, ref they don't go bad, really, so I refuse to just get rid of them. They're, like, so expensive. And then this is, like, special effects type stuff. Things for my kit that I didn't want to get rid of in case Sam wanted it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And then over here, in this white drawer, we have, um all my palettes and also my single shadows. So let's get to shopping our stashes. All right, so here we are, primers, and we have, uh, you know, the sprays and stuff. I don't know, I've been using this one for a while from Good Molecules. I also, I mean, this is like my, always my go-to. I think I wanna get some use out of this Becca one. I mean, since it's not gonna be a thing anymore, I'm gonna try to use that guy up. Uh, and I was gonna put another one in, but I think that might be the only one. I'm gonna just try to use this, see how I like it. <laughs> As for a spray, I'm gonna go with my Too Faced Hangover. This is one of my favorites. It's getting older in my collection though. I don't want it to go bad and uh, I enjoy using it. So that's gonna be fun and like a nice little treat to use. All right, looking at foundations and whatnot, let's do concealer first. I am gonna put my Becca Under Eye. That's one of my faves. This is just like empty and I think I'm gonna get rid of this and just put it in my actual empties now. As for concealers, I'm like not really a fan of any concealers I have right now except for my Glossier, so I know for sure I wanna bring that out. Everything else in here, I kinda wanna see if I can make the uh, Oma one work more for me, so maybe I'll, I'll put that as my tester. For foundations, it's another thing that's just been tough. I think I wanna get a little more use out of the Milk Makeup, and then my tried and true is my Yensa. That's the one I use all the time. I guess I'll pull my powder too really fast. This is just like what I use in case I do set, but I really don't use powder much. All right, the next row we're looking at, we have bronzers in here and that type of stuff. I want to try to freaking use, at least hit pan, I've repressed it, but I'm gonna put the butter bronzer in. I've really been enjoying this cream kind of sculptor bronzer type thing from Ofra, so I'm gonna put that in. As for cheeks, I wanna get more use out of the Natasha Denona bronze. I'm gonna bust that out, and I think that's it. I think that's it for this drawer. All right, next we're at blush. I, ooh, I love blush so much. I definitely wanna use this Kosa Duo that I got from uh, Ipsy. I wanna bust back out this Fenty one. I was using it for so much and then I just, want, I just wanna use it more. I do want like something kind of everyday 
So I think I'm gonna pick this vivid one. Um, I'm gonna put that in. And I think that's it because I know, again, blushes are one of the things I'm gonna get more of. So for now, I think those three will work well. Okay, highlighters where I have to stop myself from going too crazy. First off, I wanna get more use out of this Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm definitely putting that in. Another Charlotte Tilbury, this one definitely putting that in some that i want use out of two i'm gonna put i think this odin's eye and this i'm gonna put the two odin's eye this one's blue i know i'm not gonna want to reach for that anytime soon i've been loving this from ofra but i think i'm gonna try not to use it right now because it's all i reach for when it's out uh i think the last highlighter i'm gonna put in is this fort de france one from uh, NARS, it's been a while. I'm gonna put that in. Okay, I'm gonna try to make those work. All right, I know the angle is just so odd, but stay with me, guys. I wanna pick out a few things here. I think I'm gonna put Hollow Mulberry in, and I'm gonna put this kind of rosy shade from Holika Holika in. I've just, I mean, I'm into one single shadow eye looks right now, so I think these will be great. I also, as always, I'm trying to get more use out of these Laura Mercier sticks, so I want, I mean, that is so pretty. I want that. These I recently used. I'm okay with this stuff right now. So the basket's getting kind of full already. Um, so I got to keep it under control. Um, this is my eye, you know, drawer. So of course, I'm trying to finish up this eye primer. I'm also going to put a glitter glue. But I want to put some of these eyeliners in there. These colors. See if I can use them with spring coming up. I'm like really inspired to do some pastel stuff. This is the mascara I'm using right now. Um, so I'm gonna keep that in. It's like basically done. And I wanna give the Oma Beauty one again another try. The first time I used it, I didn't love it, but sometimes I'm a little finicky with uh, mascaras. These are my tried and true brow products right now. So I'm gonna put that in. And then I'm also gonna try out this Wet n Wild one. And then eyeliners. I haven't even been really lining my under eye much lately. I'm gonna put this like kind of uh, mulberry looking one. And I'm gonna do like a gray, but really, I don't know how much I'll use those. Okay, lips. Um, All right, what do we want? I've been loving liquid lips, but ooh, I wanna try out this Clarins one more. I've used it a couple times, but I remember liking it. Definitely want that. I also wanna make it a point to do a hot pink lip soon. So I think that'll look good, especially with like more minimal makeup. Really though, I'm just trying to keep it more natural. So I feel pretty good about that. I'm not, I I don't know. I love lip gloss, but I'm not feeling it as much, so I'm really not putting... I guess I'll put my In Beauty project. That's kind of my go-to. All right, last drawer. I have some other lip products. I want to give this Kaja lipstick more of a try. And then I'm probably just going to do lip liners. Can't not put in this one. This is Wherever Walnut from Makeup Forever. I think I'm going to put this hot pink for that liquid lipstick. And I'm also going to put Spicy from Ofra as well. All right, guys, so here's my basket. I tried to keep it small. I tried. I don't think I did it, but I, I did try. Imagine if I wasn't. I also did pick out some palettes. So I have the Natasha Denona kind of dupe that I have for the Circle Loco. So I want to still be using that for something more like every day. I picked out the Aristo palette from Zoeva. And then you guys, I need to correct myself. These don't have glitter in them. The new Odin's Eye palettes. So um, the Norns collection, I believe it is. So I'm going to pull out this one, which is giving me kind of Circo Loco vibes, you know. They're like glittery and pretty and the colors I feel like kind of look like that. Anyway, I want to get some use out of this. I think it'll be fun. So that's my shop, my stash. But now um, let's, I'm gonna go in front of like my cute background and then I do wanna have like a little bit of a conversation about why I'm forcing myself to post this video. Okay, I think I got the camera kind of not crooked. <laughs> we'll see. Welcome to the background. Okay, I wanna have a pretty candid conversation with you guys about body image a bit and just different things like that. So, uh, you know, trigger warning if like anything talking about like weight or body image might be something that is you know triggering for you i just want to let you know that's what the conversation is going to be a bit about so a bit <laughs> That is what it's about. Anyway, basically the reason why I like am for seeing myself in some way to to post this video is because I've been wanting to make a video like this where I'm like walking around, like cleaning and the kind of vlogging, right? Essentially kind of vlogging, but I'm more in 
in the camera, right? Like my body is more in the camera. I've been wanting to do that. I thought it would be fun. It was just something I, I wanted to do. I was hoping obviously you guys would like it, but it was more for me and like a fun idea. And I kept putting it off like one, just cause it's different to film for me than other videos. So sometimes that just takes a different type of brain power. And also, you know, if something goes wrong, it just can take more time and, and I'm not always, you know, ready to be able to handle that or equipped to do that, whatever. But another reason I was kind of putting it off and I hate to admit this is that I didn't want to put my freaking full body in the frame. Like I was scared and kind of ashamed to do that. I feel like there's some safety filming from like, you know, the shoulders up and I, <sighs> I'm not gonna get emotional, I prom. Well, I can't promise, I might. I was noticing that I had some shame and just like, uh, I don't know, I just wanted to like hide that. I didn't wanna show my body, I didn't, I felt, nervous to show it, I guess. And I fundamentally at the core of me hate that I felt that way. But if I'm being honest and truthful with myself, I, I did slash do. <laughs> and I refuse to fucking feel that way. I refuse to feel ashamed of the body that I have and that I live in and that I, you know, am in every day, regardless of if you guys see it or not, this is what I fucking look like. And I know all of you guys are so sweet and I'm probably not gonna get like, <laughs> mean comments or I don't know it doesn't even matter because at the end of the day it doesn't matter I don't give a shit if someone thinks that I'm too fat or this or that they're first off gonna think that do that be that whatever on their own regardless of what the fuck I do I cause a lot in real life and uh, I'm not like filtering it for this that's gonna happen no matter what if I show my body if I don't show my body if I exist online at all and I really refuse to let the fact that someone might do something first off stop me from doing anything when and it's something I want to do. And I mean, obviously this isn't, <laughs> I feel like it's a pretty benign thing, right? Like showing me cleaning up my house. So I told myself like, no, film it and you're gonna post it. Like your body looks like this, regardless of pe if people call it names, regardless of all those things. And like, you have to love it and you have to be okay with it because this is the body I go to the grocery store in and this is the body that I do all these amazing things. It's still the body I film in in all my other videos, even if you can't see it. And it's something I can't change immediately. And obviously I'm not trying to get into the whole conversation of like body positivity and all that. I'm just saying that this is the body that I have right now and I refuse to feel ashamed about it. And I'm sure I've just like internalized, you know, when you see other people doing a similar video, but they have like a perfect house and they're thin and you know, their life looks so amazing. It looks so picturesque. And so I'm like, ooh, I wanna do something <laughs> like, like that, right? Like it inspires me to want to clean my place, do this, do that. And I'm like, well, I do YouTube, I could film it too. And then the thing that's stopping me is because I'm like realizing, oh, well, I don't look like that. Like, oh, my fantasy doesn't look the same, but this is real life. And also I'm beautiful the way I am and I'm not gonna like not show it. I feel like that's doing a disservice. Why would I hide myself here when again, like I'm gonna go to the grocery store. This is what I look like. This is what I look like. And I, I guess, I guess too, it just, sometimes sucks and I hate that just being fat is like a freaking statement like I'm not I'm just trying to live just trying to make a video like even this right like having to have this conversation having to think about these types of things for myself me sitting here having to you know like dig deep figure out what these feelings are dissect them destruct them so that I can you know move on and do something that I feel like should be filming yourself and putting it on the internet isn't normal <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like, I guess something that someone else maybe wouldn't think of, or maybe they do. I mean, every, I think women in general, right? Like we have been conditioned to like look at our bodies through evil lenses, my God. But I guess I'm not gonna lie. There's a part of me too that I have to like think about all this stuff, whatever, and like pump myself up over something that I'm just like, it just is like, I just look like, I don't, <laughs> I don't want this to be a statement. I don't wanna always just because I'm fat have to be like a movement, right? And I try my best to live my life 
confidently and lovingly in, in, in my body without, you know, I don't really want like me being fat to be my identity either. Like I'm so much more than that. You know what I mean? I don't know. This conversation could be like 10 billion videos. <laughs> it could be its own whole channel. So I, I'm gonna leave it there because it's super candid and I'm not super thought out. I just some things and the reason that I am definitely posting this and I just wanted to, if anything, like I'm sure other people have these feelings like regardless of your size, right? Of just feeling inadequate, feeling like insecure about this or that with your body. And I'm just here to say, do not, do not let other people or the fear or the shame of what other people might think about your body or what you look like stop you from doing what the fuck you want to do. To quote, <laughs> YOLO man, like you only live once. I'm not stopping from doing the thing I wanna do because I'm scared someone's gonna make me feel ashamed or because I feel like maybe someone will be mean to me or I'm like nervous about this or that with when it comes to my body. It doesn't change, it's not gonna change next week <laughs> regardless of what I do, it, it's not. So, you know, I'm not gonna sit here not living my life now, you know, let's say I'm like, but maybe one day this will change and then that's when I'll start living my life. Fuck no, that's not what I'm gonna do. And I highly suggest you don't either. Don't let people, people in quotes, like who are these people? Are these our, our voices? Are these, you know, what society has told us that we've internalized and it's made us feel ashamed of ourselves? Don't let that stop you. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna end this here. I hope that was somewhat positive. <laughs> But yeah, I just, I wanted to share that with you because it's something that I knew, I knew why I wasn't wanting to film this. And I'm like, oh, well, it'll be my whole body on screen and oh. And it's like, this is what I look like. I got a little apple body, okay? I'm a little apple with some legs. And hi, hello, what's up, <laughs> you know? Anyway, I refuse to be ashamed and I refuse to not do what I wanna do because of my body and what someone might think or say about it. No, that's not who I am. And so I'm definitely not gonna give in to those feelings. No, 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 no. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I picked for my Shop My Stash. Maybe this gave you some encouragement to maybe clean something up. I trust me, I get it. Or maybe this little pep talk at the end, I hope. I hope that's how it comes across. Jeez, I hope you got something out of this ultimately. But other than that, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video. I hope you have an amazing day. And other than that, I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.